Ladies and gentlemen, the Dickinson chapter of the American Theatre Organ Society invites you to the 2015 convention, celebrating the 60th anniversary of ATOS, a collage of nostalgia and progress, of greeting old friends and meeting new ones, of organ transplants and original installations, while your family members can experience July 4th in historic Philadelphia. These sights, sounds, and sensations can only be described as something big. The overture to our musical adventure begins with something big to be sure, a remarkable home installation, the four manual 146 rank Aeolian organ located at world famous Longwood Gardens. The organ at this former residence of the DuPont family will have Jonas Nordwall at the console to start the overture. Following the concert, attendees can stroll the gardens and conservatories and enjoy lunch before returning to the hotel. The overture finale features something even bigger. By special arrangement with the R.H. Macy Company, we will thrill to a private evening concert on the Wanamaker Grand Court Organ by Peter Conti in the Center City Macy's Store. This legendary instrument of six manuals and 462 ranks has been played daily since 1911. Two organs, 10 manuals, over 600 ranks and 40,000 pipes. Jonas Nordwall and Peter Conti, the overture will certainly be the start of something big. The opening convention concert will feature an instrument very dear to ATOS. It is the former Lowell Ayers 28 Wurlitzer, now at Macy's Greek Hall. This is a classic example of the smaller workhorse instruments in the smaller theaters everywhere. And Ron Rode will show off the organ's amazing capabilities. ATOS and many of its members are proud to have donated more than $100,000 for this reinstallation, skillfully done to Wurlitzer factory specifications. Mark Herman, will be at the console of the next organ, which is a recent installation. It is the 324 Wurlitzer, now installed in the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, PA, the pride of the Theater Organ Society of the Delaware Valley. This fine organ will also be the instrument to display the talents of the finalists of the Young Organists' Competition. Our next instrument, is an installation in a historic theater that never had held an organ. It is the 314 Marr and Colton in the Grand Theater in East Greenville, PA. Relive the early days of the theater organ as the talented John Baratta accompanies a silent film in this little gem of a theater. A special visit to the Allen Organ Company in McCungee, PA has been arranged just for us. This year, they have invited us to visit their museum and to enjoy a concert in Octave Hall, played by Lance Luce. The 366 Kimball at Dickinson High School will be heard four times during the convention, played by artists who know it well. The many talented David Peckham will be at the console of the Kimball. Another perennial favorite who will be on the Kimball is Dave Wickerham. The incomparable Hector Oliveira at the Kimball in a dazzling theater organ presentation that will be pure Hector in his first convention concert in many years. Richard Hills and Simon Gledhill our convention favorites who are planning a duet concert on the two Dickinson Kimball consoles. It will surely be memorable. Imagine the possibilities. Two consoles, four concerts, five artists, and 66 ranks. This will surely be something big. The encore to the 2015 convention will provide a contrast from a small original theater installation 
to the largest installation of its kind in the world. We begin with the 3-8 Kimball in the Broadway Theater that was installed in 1928. Lovingly restored by the South Southern Jersey Theater Organ Society, it is used regularly. Don Kinnear will give us a taste of these early days. The encore continues to Atlantic City, home of casinos, saltwater taffy, and the Boardwalk Hall organs, whose descriptions are nearly mythical. Currently, a group of private supporters and the city administration are slowly restoring the two organs. Host organist Stephen Ball will demonstrate both the 7449 Midmer Lodge in the main hall and the 455 Kimball in the ballroom. A tour of the building will be available. You will be on your own for a late lunch and dinner, free to enjoy the sun, sand, and sights of the shore and the casinos until the buses take us back to the hotel. The convention hotel is centrally located to all the organ venues we will be visiting. It is the Doubletree Hotel on the celebrated Avenue of the Arts, Broad Street, in Philadelphia. If you bring family members with you, they can enjoy the excitement of Spirit of America Week while you are enjoying theater organs. When making your hotel reservations, you can add a few more days before or after the convention at the special convention rate. See the article in the Theater Organ Journal that will explain some unique aspects of this convention. Bus transportation is included in the registration because parking is not available at several venues. If you and a companion require the handicapped bus, be sure to indicate that on the registration form. Speaking of transportation, we have arranged for the Wilmington and Western Railroad to take us to dinner after a concert at Dickinson. Some of you may remember this feature from the 92 convention. To facilitate your dining needs, we have arranged to provide two lunches and three dinners on the way between venues. The annual awards dinner will be held at the historic Sunnybrook Ballroom, where all the big bands played back in the day. Dick Smith will play the 314 United States organ for your listening and dancing pleasure. The 2015 ATOS convention will have something for everyone. Some well-known venues and others that are seldom seen or heard. Small organs as well as the two largest in the world. Theater organ artists from around the world will create musical memories for you while you discover theater organ delights mingling with other theater organ fans and artists. Your family members can experience the patriotic celebration of July 4th in Philadelphia. We hope you will celebrate ATOS's 60th anniversary with us with something big. The 2015 ATOS Annual Convention will be hosted by the Dickinson Chapter of ATOS. Look for online and in-journal registration soon. We look forward to seeing you in Philadelphia.